Yo! Guys. It's over. It's over. I, um... I, I, I did a little hedging today. Um, I sold about half my portfolio today, guys. Um, half my crypto portfolio, I, I decided to sell. I, I want to be a little bit hedged. So I'm about 50% in cash and 50% in Bitcoin. I, I sold all my altcoins into cash today uh, because I wanted to hedge um, in case we go lower. So um, I'm, I'm only in Bitcoin and, old, and, and cash right now. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> at, least, at, least, at least at the moment. Uh, what's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? I, I, I was thinking about doing a trolling video today. But I, I think, you know, in case Bitcoin goes a little lower, I'm going to save my trolling video. I probably shouldn't tell you about the, tro <laughs> about the trolling video. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna troll you guys today. I was gonna troll you guys today, and and, and, and make make the video title, "I'm 100% out of the market." Remember, I told you guys I was gonna make that video at some point. I was gonna do, "I'm 100% out of the market." I was gonna troll you guys today, but but I decided not to. I decided not to do it. Uh, what's going on? Big move for Hoofy Chalk Town. What's up, Wayne? Half the stream already left the other shit coins. <laughs> Uh, let's get it, man. Let's get it. All right. So guys, let's talk. So Bitcoin, obviously, uh, the, the inverse head and shoulders that we talked about yesterday obviously failed. Okay. It happens. Um, it failed and we went back down to about 63,000 today. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Bitcoin. We'll talk about ETH. We'll talk about altcoins and, uh, why, you know, man, like this is a booty price action, man. This is freaking booty, but, um, I still believe that the next like higher is loading. Um, we just might have to wait a little bit longer than, you know, some of us may have thought. So uh, let's talk about it. Let's get busy and uh, let's talk about where Bitcoin may be heading as uh, in the short term here. Because we, we did break uh, this significant level at 64,500, which we did talk about. And we said if that level breaks, we may be seeing Bitcoin coming down and test these lows again, which it looks like it may come down and test those lows again. Okay, so let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Uh, Edward. Uh, let's get this. Where is the let's get this crypto guy? Let's get, let's get this crypto. Is that what I, who used to say that? Oh, MM Crypto he used to say, let, let's get this crypto. Uh, Paul Nicholson. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, Hans. Uh, let's see. Wolf. Who else we got in here? We got Thomas. I like 59K. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at a few interesting levels here. Um, so uh, first off, Bitcoin, right? First off, Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin. Um, I still think, right? So, I mean, at this point, we got Bitcoin at 63,000. So we still have a higher low, technically. Um, is that low going to hold, though? That, that, that's obviously the big question that we have right now. Is that low at about 60,600 going to hold for the corn? I think this is a big level of support, guys. Like, from about 59,000 to about 61,000 is a big level of support. There's been many times where Bitcoin has dipped into there and it's been a big demand zone. You've seen buyers step in like crazy, right? So obviously this little wick right here, buyers stepped in, pushed higher. Uh, we got a little wick into the box here, right? We pushed higher. We got a wick into here, we pushed higher. And we got a little wick into here, we pushed higher. So th this is a big, 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 big level of support. Um, and it's going to take a lot of sell pressure for us to actually break through there. <laughs> the thing is, we got, we got GBDC selling bitcoin like freaking crazy right now like every day they're selling like 500 million bitcoin 500 dollars worth of 500 million dollars worth of bitcoin 700 million dollars worth of bitcoin 800 million dollars worth of bitcoin they're just selling bitcoin like a freaking madman right now luckily we've actually seen big like like considering how much bitcoin that grayscale is selling right now or or their their their, their clients are selling so they have to sell the bitcoin Bitcoin's actually holding up really well, considering that <laughs> two days ago, Grayscale almost sold almost like $700 million worth of Bitcoin in one day. <laughs> That's a shitload of BTC in one day. We're actually seeing Bitcoin hold up relatively well, which means I think that buyers are coming in, stepping in, and at least holding the price up for now. Will it hold? We'll see. But this 59 to 61K level is a big, 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 big support level um, that it's got to take a lot of selling to break us through there. Ultimately... But we'll ultimately see. I don't think we are going uh, to have a close above 69K <laughs> until tax time is over April Let's 15th. See. Selling like a crackhead. All right, so here's the thing. Here's the thing we got right now, guys. Um, 
I still think, right? So if if you're a sideliner out there and and and, and you don't own any Bitcoin and you don't own any altcoins, I, I I will say this: I don't think it's smart being greedy. And I know that doesn't seem like how it feels right now. I think uh, I think the fear is starting to come back into the market again. Um, I still think you don't want to get too greedy. I think if you're a sideliner and you're all at the market and you're looking to pick up some crypto, I still think if you get Bitcoin, um, like we talked about when Bitcoin went to this like 60,000 level, I think if you get Bitcoin close to that 60,000 level, it could go slightly lower. Um, I think that's still a good purchase if you are on the sidelines. If you're someone who's already a hodler, you're in the market, you don't care about the short-term price, just chill out, do your thing, right? Bitcoin's gonna have pullbacks. It's normal. But if you're someone who's on the sidelines, I still think that this, like any, if you can get close to 60,000, it's still a good purchase. I wouldn't get too greedy to the downside. Um, very similar that we talked about down here, right? You guys remember this. When we were down here, uh, post the ETF, right? We had the ETF sell the news. Bitcoin was going to 30K, right? Bitcoin pulled back here to 38.5. And, you know, at that low, we said, okay, Bitcoin could go lower, but I wouldn't be too greedy, okay? Because right here, look, Bitcoin pumped, it easily could have went lower. But I, I don't think being greedy in a bull market to the downside is a smart move. I think if you are on the sidelines, if you get another chance to buy below 60K, you take that and you take that and run with that shit, okay? If, like if we get a wick down to like 59, 58K, I think that is a fantastic opportunity to, for longs and to scoop some BTC if you're on the sidelines. And same thing for the altcoins, right? If we go take a look at, uh, I actually want to take a look at ETH. Uh, if we actually take a look at ETH, really all ETH is doing, right? Let's, let's take a look at ETH. ETH did a 618 retrace. I actually took an ETH long today. I, I, I you know, I don't always do trades, um, but today I saw ETH wick. I had this on my chart. I had an alert set on my phone where if ETH went into this um, golden pocket, I was going to take a long. Um, so I am in an ETH long from the golden pocket. And what I'm hoping for is we have had this big downtrend for ETH. We got that bad news on the grayscale, uh, not on the grayscale, on the SEC attacking ETH. And we got a pullback into the 618. So I am long on ETH here. I'm hoping for a higher low on ETH that we can start pushing up because I do think ETH is going to start outpacing Bitcoin. So I am long on Bitcoin. I don't have a lot of ETH this cycle. So I want to... Trying to get in a leverage position than normal. to make up I for think my non-spots. I it's because you have your hat so crushed down on your head. <laughs> Maybe back that hat off a few notches, friend. <laughs> that's funny, Clint. Clint. Oh, man. That's funny, man. Shout out to Clint. Your ears look more elfish than normal. I've been told that my elf ears are cute. I've been told that my elf ears are super, super cute. And, <laughs> and that I, I should be proud of my elf ears. Okay. And actually, the lower my hat is, the more cute that I look. That's what I've been told. I could totally be wrong. Like, Clint, you might think I look an elf, but some people think elves are cute. I actually think elves are kind of cute, right? Maj has nice little elf ears that kind of come up and point. I love her ears. My own, my ears are only cute when the hat pushes them down, though. You know? Uh, but shout out to Clinty. Shout out to Clinty. Uh, maybe back that hat off a few notches. I, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's funny, man. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I wouldn't get too greedy. I would not get too greedy on pullbacks, okay? Just like in a bear market, right? Where prices move up, you don't want to be too greedy holding for too long, okay? Or, 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 or waiting to sell your crypto in the bull, in the bear market, right? If you're at the lows, you get little bear market rallies, you want to sell those off quickly. I think it's a lot like the bull market is you get dips, you don't want to get too greedy on the dips, and I think that's where we're at. So my, my, my general consensus or my thought process is we could easily see Bitcoin take out the slow at 60,000 easily. 100% Bitcoin could take out the slow and go into the 50Ks. I think if you get that opportunity, you be bullish on that opportunity. You do not be a pussy and start selling your Bitcoin at 57K, 58K. When you had chances to sell higher, you didn't want to. You don't do it now that it's if it pulls back below that 60k level okay you'd be bullish on the pullback into the 50ks okay and that's my general thought process how long could that take i don't know i don't have a crystal ball but i i think that the the thing i'm looking at is i you know i think if, if i get an opportunity to take a long on btc on a wick below here 
I'm on take How's it. That I don't always do going, that. Folks? <laughs> Shout out to Psycho Pro, my favorite bear bit. Psycho Pro, I think you've been saying that since about 15k, my friend. I know you're bullish, though. You hold a bunch of altcoins. Um, but yeah, that's my thought process on Bitcoin. And I think for ETH, right? So if it, let's just say this, right? Let's say this level doesn't hold for Bitcoin. It might. <laughs> you know, like as we all talk about Bitcoin going lower now, it might hold because now we're like, oh, Bitcoin's going to go lower. But I'm saying if it does, we go over to ETH chart. I think if you get another opportunity to buy ETH into this golden pocket, that's also a good scoop. Um, I don't, I don't think ETH is going to go lower than this 3000 level. Um, and if you get another opportunity at this golden pocket or around this golden pocket, you take it. Okay. Uh, at least for me, at least for me. And that goes for the altcoins, right? If we go look at total three, and this has been my thought process, I think altcoins are going to outpace Bitcoin now. And you've actually seen that. You've actually seen Bitcoin actually have pullback days. And a lot of altcoins actually aren't dumping like you would expect. Like they're dumping, but they're not going down as much as they normally would on a Bitcoin dump. Normally, Bitcoin's down 4% today. Normally on a Bitcoin 4% down day, you're going to see altcoins wrecked, right? 10, 15%. Now, some of them are, but a lot of them aren't getting going down that much. So this is my thought process with total three, right? Bitcoin's here. In dollar FDM, we trust. Uh, <laughs> dollar FDM, right? Bitcoin's here. This could be the low, right? It could come down into here, okay? My thought process is though, that you got this. This is support on total three, right? So let's, just like we talked about with right here, right? Remember this little support level on total three, where we're saying, guys, like this, this is the time you should be loading up on alts. You should be loading up on alts, loading up on alts, loading up on alts, okay? Because we were back testing previous resistance into support. I'm looking at the same thing right now, where we have a previous support, okay? From back up here in March of 2022. I see inverse now H and S and double bottom BTC. Dude, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta turn off this freaking, <laughs> I gotta turn off this, this freaking alert that goes up. I'm trying to speak. And it's interrupting me, man. The bell, the bell. But yeah, we're, I think all we're doing is we're flipping previous support into support now, right? You can see the dip and in the reaction off that level. So if we zoom in a little bit, right? This is just the weekly. But if we zoom in now, okay? Could we see all, the total three chart come into this green zone again? Yes. But I think if you do, okay? If you do, because we could. But if we do see these lows hit again, and you're on the sidelines, you should be a buyer, okay? You should not be a seller at that point. Why? Because it's previous support that we're gonna try to flip into support again, okay? So if you're a sideliner, that is a point to add to positions. And if you're holding, that's a point where you just chill out. You don't get super bearish at support levels, okay? So that's where we're at the moment. I think we're, we're in a good spot relative like to the GBC dumping, I think we're still in a relatively good spot considering the dumping that they've been doing. I think if you told me, if you told me two months ago that GBDC would be selling like $3 billion worth of Bitcoin, I would have thought we would have been way lower, <laughs> way lower than that. That's a lot of freaking money, man, right? I would have thought we were way lower than we are now, right? But, you know, here we are. So, uh, that that's my general thought process and, and kind of like how I've been saying I think altcoins are gonna outpace Bitcoin from this point and they actually have been right if you look at the weekly I know alt, altcoins have been coming down a little bit but you actually look at the last one two three weeks the last three weeks on total three versus Bitcoin have been green it doesn't seem like it but actually altcoins have been holding up better than Bitcoin right and this is this is the turn of the tides this is when you get that Bitcoin pullback and you're actually seeing crypto native people selling their Bitcoin into alts. And you're seeing it happen on the chart because on the Bitcoin pullback, you're seeing altcoins hold up better, which is not normally what you've been seeing, okay? So we talked about this chart yesterday. You got massive bullish diversions, okay? Three lower lows on the weekly, three higher lows on the, on the weekly RSI, massive bullish divergence on total three versus Bitcoin. And we talked about how it's at the golden pocket, all this yada stuff altcoin bitcoin pairs this cycle is playing out exactly like the last couple cycles 
It's the, exactly like the last couple cycles. Bitcoin stalls at the all-time highs, is red for a little bit, altcoins get the pullback, right? But what you see is a shift in, you see, you see a shift in the market. You see altcoins not going down as much as Bitcoin on that pullback, which I think is people selling Bitcoin and actually buying some altcoins uh, with that cash. So um, that's where we're at. It's the same thing as last cycles, guys. I, I don't know why we always make this so much different and what it needs to be, but we've seen Bitcoin stall out at all-time highs in 2020. We've seen Bitcoin stall out at all-time highs in 2017. And that was the point where the shift happened in the market, where then as when you got the, after you got that little rejection and you saw Bitcoin break into new all-time highs, that's when you saw the shift in the market. And that's when altcoins started to really take off against BT Sizzle. Okay. So as always, I put in the I put in the title that, you know, patience, young bulls. Okay. Um, I think you just need to have patience at the moment, guys. And whether the storm, whether the pullbacks, because they're gonna happen. We just had this really, I mean, we just had the same thing happen back in January where altcoins were getting a pullback, <laughs> right? Actually, if you look at, at what we've done so far, right? So back in January, January into February, we had about a 17% pullback on total three. This pullback has been 18%. <laughs> so it's kind of the same, it's, it's almost the same. Um, into support, okay? So we've seen this before, right? You guys are veterans at this point, um, I think. I, I hope you guys are veterans at this point, but we've seen this before. Just do some komosa, get some box wine like Clint, uh, eat some bow tie pasta like Hoffs, or you know, do whatever you need to do. But that's about where we're at, guys. Um, and we talked about Pacific altcoins, we maybe should be looking at, right? Pay attention to what the hot narratives are. AI, top meme coins, um and 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 stick to your hot narratives and and and, and do what you need to do uh spirit channel is artemis ai a small cap ai gem on uniswap artemis ai <laughs> it has ai in the name so i like it if only horse guy pumped because i had ai in the name <laughs> you know what i mean strap up we're going, we're going to the moon. moon if only horse guy pumped because i had ai in the name shit shout out to spirit channel shout out to spirit channel Waterfly, my my second father. What's going on, Waterfly? My second father. What's going on, man? ETH trying to go up? Yeah, I'm long ETH right now. I'm long ETH right now, guys. I mean, I told you, from this golden pocket, I'm long ETH from the golden pocket. Uh, it, it, pretty easy long, I think. Why I think it was easy long? Because you're seeing Bitcoin come into previous support while, while ETH is at the golden pocket. I thought it was a pretty easy long. Um, so I am long ETH from that golden pockets as I got an alert on my phone today. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think that's gonna be a good entry. Um, I could be wrong, right? Obviously, that's why you use stop losses. I got my stop loss right below this golden pocket, right? So I'm long from the golden pocket, stop loss right below. But I think I got a pretty good entry. And this is more of a swing. This is more of a swing trade to play this back up. But uh, but yeah, we'll see how it works out. I think I think it's gonna work out pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at, guys. I, I think we're in a really good spot. It's, it's just, I know these days suck, and I know this time suck. We want up only. We want Lambo now. We don't want Prius. We don't want the 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 Corolla that sounds like a Lambo. We don't want the weird people who make their Honda Civics sound like Lambos. Who does that? Who makes their Honda Civic sound like a Lambo? <laughs> don't do that, guys. You, you look like a you look like a tool when you make your Honda Civic sound like a Lambo. You don't want it. You don't want to be that guy. Okay. We don't want to be the fake Lambos, okay? We want the real thing. And, and we're going to get that with the patience and making sure that when the market does come back up, because we're making a lot of fear in the market right now, to take profits when we go back up, okay? Do not be calling for the super cycle on the way back up, okay? I hope we learned this lesson at least. <laughs> the ETFs are not up only. If you get some selling pressure in the market, the ETFs will, the ETF people will sell just like normal people, okay? As we've seen the last few days, okay? The ETFs are not up only. They are also down, just like normal buying and selling, okay? Let this be a lesson to us all, okay? To take profits on the way back up, if you haven't already, okay? So, all right, let's talk about a few things. But Prius is... 
Priuses, whatever it is. All right, let's look at some super chats here. Let's let's go back and look. Let's see who we got over here. We'll put we'll put the homies over here. Uh, Artemis AI. I mean, it has AI in the name, so I like it. Like I said, shout out the Spirit Channel. Check Van Re pop by. I bought some shares, bro. I'm a I have been in Van Re since three cents, bro. <laughs> I am I am a I I am huge on this coin, man. I, I, ever since it was called TVK, I've been huge on this shit, man. So, you don't got to tell me about Vanry, man. I'm, I, I love Vanry. They, they're doing some awesome stuff with gaming. Um, they, they're just doing some awesome stuff. So, yeah, I'm, I'm huge on Vanry, man. I'm huge on Vanry. But, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's pulling back like the rest of the market. It's normal, but it's been holding up pretty good, actually, up here. But, you know, it's just it's just doing a little pullback, just like the rest of the market, man. But, but ultimately, I'm big on this coin. I've talked about this one multiple times. Vanry. You bought some shares, Cycle Pro? I'm happy to have you on the team, man. I'm happy to have you on the Vanry team. <clears throat> Congrats to you, man, as, as we await this little consolidation. And maybe we pull back a little bit more. It's we probably do. We probably take out these lows. But ultimately, uh, look for higher prices, though. But yeah, man. Gaming, infrastructure... Layer one, metaverse, they, they, they do it all. That's why I like this one. A lot of stuff going on. We were basically like if any if any narrative goes off, like metaverse, this one pumps. At gaming, this one pumps. Layer one season, this one pumps. Right? I mean it, it just has everything. So that's why I like it. <clears throat> Anyways, Bitcoin still holding sixty-three thousand four hundred. We'll see if it holds. It doesn't have to, right? We could still take out this low on Bitcoin. So and it's perfectly fine, right? Um what else do we got? Who else we got in here? In FTM we trust. FTM, man. FTM. Phantom. I see I've seen some people draw like a little trend line on Phantom. Hold on. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about here. I might have already broken it though. Hold on. I've seen some peeps over on the Twitters. I think it already broke it though. I think it said F you to the trend line. <laughs> I think like I saw I saw some people draw this trend line. Yeah, dude, it broke it yesterday. It broke it yesterday. It said F you to the trend line, man. Oh, it said F you to the trend line. So yeah, screw the trend line. I, I saw a lot of people try to short Phantom right here, and it looks like Phantom just absolutely blasted those guys out. Absolutely. It, like the trend liners got blasted a new one for short in FTM right here yesterday. This thing pumped through the trend line 25%. <laughs> blasted the shorts. So we'll see if it holds now. It probably comes back and retest this. Because look. Kind of like you know, you've seen with total three, right? This was a previous resistance level, right? So resistance, this is support. What we're probably going to do now is you're getting a little red. Probably test this as support now, right? So we test this as support, we hold. Next level, boom, 178. But yeah, we probably get a little retest because this one's been mooning, man. So you probably get a little retest in there while the market's, you know, kind of kind of shaky. So that's what we got. But yeah, Phantom is strong as hell, bro. I like that one. Um, I see inverse head and shoulder, double bottom BTC. Well, <laughs> the thing is we were looking at the inverse head and shoulders yesterday and it failed, right? And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes these, these little things fail, right? So we're looking at this, boom, boom, boom. It started to come up and then it dumped, right? So like the inverse head and shoulders just got bonked to the downside. Now everyone's talking about this, right? Now this is the thing to talk about, the head and shoulders. Let's just put this on the 12 on the 12 hour you can see it a little better now everyone's talking about the wonk 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 <laughs> the head and shoulders we'll see if it plays out though we'll see if it plays out but the inverse head and shoulders yesterday failed maybe it's going to troll us and fail the inverse head and shoulders and now pump <laughs> that would just be what bitcoin would do uh shout out to cycle pearl shout out to clint Envy said, I don't think we are going to have a close above 69K until tax time is over April 15th. Could be. You could be right. We could go sideways for a little bit. Um, but I, I, I honestly think that's that's maybe becoming the consensus view. I mean, I, I still look at, if we go look at liquidations on Bitcoin, like we, st we have one open up right here at like 62,000. Because I think some people are longing right here. Which means that we maybe we go a little bit lower on Bitcoin because there's a lot of longs opening up right here. See, there's 400 millions of, of long liquidations down here now. Um, 
But ultimately, like, I, I think all these get taken out, right? All these shorts up here. I mean, you're talking billions, billions of shorts, liquidations above 69K. Billions of short liquidations. I got to think those get tagged at some point. Billions of short liquidations up there. You got to think they get tagged, right? Like shit, man. <clears throat> um, let's see. Kyle said I scooped GPU because of you. Yeah, nice, man. I hope you get a good entry on it. I hope you get a good entry on it. You, it's given you some good entries the last few days, right? It's given you some really good entries on the last few days. These are the times where, you know, the market goes down a little bit, right? And people are like, oh my God, the coin that you said is not doing good. I mean, the whole market's looking shitty right now. So it's like, I mean, it is what it is, right? But ultimately, like if, if you got in on this wick, you got a nice one if you get on that wick. But yeah, a little correction on this, right? I know a lot of you guys got in like 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents. I think my average on this is like 40 cents, somewhere in there. But yeah, if you, if you got in this little wick, that's good. You might get a, you might get a little dump. You still might get a little bit more downside. But I, I think once once you get that next AI run, which <laughs> we said this last time, right? Once you get the next AI run, and then AI kind of cooled off for a few weeks, and then boom, you saw FET do a 10x, you saw Render do a 10x, you saw Tau do a 10x. There's going to be another AI run again. You just want to be positioned for that, right? So being too greedy on the AI coins. While Bitcoin's pulling back, I don't think is a good idea, right? So I think if you can pick some of these AI coins, like GPU, if you can get this under 80, like on this wick, I think is a good buy. Um, if you can pick up FET, right? If we look at FET, which has been pulling back with the market, right? If you can get FET anywhere close to like this wick, I think that's a great buy. If you can get it anywhere near this wick, any 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 of the AI coins, I think are I think are good on the pullbacks. How is BTC doing on your multi-cycle fractal? Oh, Keith, we haven't looked at that in a while, man. We haven't looked at that in a while. We'll look at that. Waterfly said, congrats, Yale Bulldogs like this show. Please, Clint is a legend. Never Clint is an absolute legend, man. Ah, man, Clint is a legend. I can't believe I bought chilies today. <laughs> I did buy some chilies today. I actually think the chart looks good. Like, It's not actually, this is not just like a joke buy because... I actually think the chart looks good on the weekly, right? Not so, maybe not on the daily, but the, the weekly I think looks really, really good, right? You got this bull, this bull flag breakout retest, like the bull flag breakout retest. I did buy some chilies today. I, if the chart didn't look good, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But I, you know, I said, you got the bull flag retest and the chilies BTC chart looks freaking so juicy man <laughs> so juicy man i couldn't pass it up i couldn't pass it up and you got the, the soccer tournament coming up oh my god you got the narrative coming too i couldn't pass up buying some chilies so i did buy some chilies today um one because one for hoffs because i want to be on the same team as hoffs because i love hoffs i absolutely love hoffs but also because i think the charts look good so i did buy some chilies today don't i, I if you, guys if you want to make money don't buy chilies <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm half kidding. I'm half kidding. Mm. Let's see. Brian said I bought chilies too. <laughs> Shout out to Brian. I hope it works out, man. It could be a horrible purchase, but we'll see if it works out. Uh, most, I mean, most buys have been pretty good. Like I said, I don't have any buys that are down. So mo most buys that I've done are, 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 are have been pretty good buys. Right? I don't think there's anything. Um, the only coin I'm down on is Mong, which which was a which was a meme coin <laughs> that rugged. That's the only coin that I'm down on in this bull market is Mong. That shit rugged to absolute zero, bro. Uh, it is what it is. It happens. It happens. It happens. If you haven't got rugged, I don't even think you're a part of crypto, to be honest. Um. When FOMO Bitcoin chart? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what else can we talk about? 
so let's talk about some other things. So have this update have this updated yet? Let's see. Flows. Okay, so GBDC. This is actually it actually like you can see the GBDC selling is actually going down. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the selling of GBDC is going down, right? So you see 642 million on the 18th, 450 million on the 19th, 386 million on the 20th, 358 million on the 21st, and today was only 170 million, <laughs> only 170 million. But you can see that the selling is going down. And I, I honestly think this is the biggest reason why you're seeing Bitcoin move down. Not that you need a reason. I don't think the reason really matters. Just follow the chart. But you could see that five days in a row, this has been moving down. I really do think this is the main reason you're seeing the red. I don't think there's a lot of actual sellers. I mean, think about this. Like this is almost $2 billion worth of sell pressure in the last five. Like this week, $2 billion worth of sell pressure, right? If you told me that GBC would have dumped $2 billion in one week, I would have thought that Bitcoin would have went way lower than it did this week. Would I would have thought it went way lower, to be honest. So the fact that we're still sitting here after Grayscale sold $2 billion worth of Bitcoin and Bitcoin's still chilling here at about 63500 I think it's actually pretty impressive, <laughs> to be quite honest. I think that's pretty impressive. Um, so, guys, they got, they got a lot more BTC. I don't know how much they're going to be selling, but it actually went down since Monday. So... But you can see, dude, I mean, they've been selling a shitload for the past two weeks. Um, like I said, the fact that Bitcoin's still chilling here at 63.5, I, I I really do think is a feat to behold, to be quite honest. Um, so that's what we got on, on the flows. We don't have any of this stuff, but the ETFs actually picked up some, some volume today. Um, we don't have all the ETFs, but it looks like BitB had its highest day of the week. Easy BC had its highest day of the week. We don't have... BlackRock Fidelity info yet, but the, these two had the highest of the week, which is good. Um, liquidations we talked about. There's some liquidations to the downside, so we could still see Bitcoin wick to the downside again. Uh, but most of the liquidations are still to the upside. I still think these shorts get wrecked at some point. Uh, I think we're just kind of baiting, baiting more shorts, baiting more shorts, baiting more shorts before we see some type of short squeeze to the upside. Um, crypto bubbles. Let's look at our crypto bubbles, baby. Strap up. We're, We're going, going to the moon. moon. Up 9%. We got Floki up 6. Aptos up 9. Stacks up 6. BCH up 3. But it's a sea of red. A sea of red as retail continues to sell their altcoins. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive here. <laughs> Pretty impressive, Red Egg. Uh, Fear and Greed. Did we update today? Let's see. We're at a 75. So we're not, we've dropped out of extreme greed actually for the first time. 75. We're now in greed. We've dropped out of that extreme greed territory, which I think is somewhat interesting. Somewhat interesting. Um, we'll see if this continues, which is interesting because back in 2020, we didn't really drop into greed, right? Other than this January pullback. Right, where we actually dropped into fear for one day. We dropped into fear for one day and then basically we went back up to extreme greed again. Right. So interesting. Interesting. We, we've kind of, I guess, came out of that extreme greed and now we're just greedy. <laughs> no more extreme greed. So that's what we got on that. Um, some of our top indicators, I, I don't, I, obviously, I don't think there's a huge reason to be talking about these. You're going to see these come down. Look at Google Trends, right? Almost down 50% from that peak, right? So 28 down to 19 um, on the Google Trends. So people are searching by Bitcoin or by crypto less. Not, not, not surprised, not surprised, not surprised whatsoever. Um, but just know that this tends to absolutely go crazy at the peaks. And I think this is more so akin to this January poll, January 2021 pullback right here before ultimately you get the you get the crazy hype in the market, which was this. Um, so that's buy crypto. Top apps, I don't even, <laughs> I can guarantee you that Coinbase will not be in the top 200. I can pretty much guarantee you this, which I, I think is funny, man. You got Bitcoin at all time highs and Coinbase is not even a top 200 crypto app. <laughs> it, I, I think that just goes to show how much PTSD people have in crypto. 
like the general public. I think so many people got burned last cycle that it's going to take a lot higher prices for retail to really start running back into the market. It's going to take way higher prices. You don't even have Coinbase in the top 200 apps, which is crazy to me. Crazy to me. With Bitcoin literally, what? I mean, last all-time high was 69K. Bitcoin is 7% down from its previous all-time high. Don't even have Coinbase in the top 200 apps. Blows my mind. Um, so that's what you got there. Um, I think we got a lot, lot, lot more room to run on the Coinbase apps. Um, just a matter of patience, man. And we saw Coinbase actually get up all the way up to number 40 at the peak. Okay. Remember, the crypto market has topped twice, 2021 and 2017, when Coinbase became the number one app on the Apple store. Okay. The highest it's been is 40. That's when Bitcoin was at 73K for the day. Okay. So this, this works. And what does downside do? It resets this. So while we were a little bit worried when Coinbase went to number 40, it's not even in the top 200 anymore. That's what little pullbacks do. They reset the sentiment in the market. Let's go. Wait, Samantha? Samantha's here? Home, home. Someone said Samantha? Where's Samantha? <laughs> you guys are tricking me that Samantha's here. <laughs> you guys better not be trolling me that Samantha's in the chat. And then obviously the, 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 the grand, the grand top signal that we said we would use during this bull is the mighty, mighty, mighty pie cycle top, which we're not even above the blue moving average yet. So there's no reason to be overly dramatic about this. But remember, we are at the point in the previous two cycles where we seen Bitcoin hit that blue moving average, stall out for a little bit at the all-time highs before breaking above that blue moving average. Okay, Usually takes a few weeks. 2017, we had a three-week pullback. 2020, we had a three-week pullback. Here we are in week number two of the all-time high pullback. Okay, This is exactly what happened back in 2020, and it's exactly what happened back in 2017. Nothing is different, fellas. Nothing is different, okay? I don't care what the news is. I don't care if we're going into a recession. I don't care if the government's printing money. I don't care if ETFs. I don't care if no ETFs. The cycles always play out the same no matter what the news is, okay? Ignore the news. I don't care if Grayscale is going to sell all their Bitcoin. The cycle will play out the same no matter what happens. Because human emotions control the market, not news. Okay? Not the damn news. Okay. Just to make that clear. But yeah, we're, we're tapping that blue moving average. Totally normal to see a little rejection from there. Nothing's different than what's played out in the past. Uh, game Swift? What the, what the hell is Game Swift? Wolf Sean. Wolf Sean said Game Swift. I don't know what that is, my friend. But, you know, just because you asked, we'll look at it. Game Swift. Sounds like uh, some cool game from, like, Nintendo 64 days. And you guys played Nintendo 64 back in the day? I like to play Duck Hunter and the original Mario. I was original Mario. Big... Some people like Mario Kart. I loved Mario Kart and the old little Game Boy. But um, I, I was I was a big just normal Mario player. I liked beating the levels, and there was always be this one level. You know the level that I hated on Mario was the level where you had that guy in the cloud, the guy in the cloud. And you had to run really fairly fast so that guy in the cloud would catch up to you. You couldn't let the guy in the cloud catch up to you. I hated those levels, bro. And I also hated the the water ones where you had to swim with the damn sharks. I hated those ones, man. Bowser, easy. Game Swift, what's up? What is this? I'm assuming it's some gaming token, which is cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Game Swift. Duck Hunter? <laughs> Duck Hunter was good, man. Duck Hunter was good. You, you, this was the OG days when there was no good games. Okay, so Game Swift. Golden Pocket. Right, so from the lows to the highs, 
This is the golden pocket retest. So I, this is this is a good this is a good area to buy some Game Swift. This is a really really good area to buy some Game Swift. It's support. It's the golden pocket retrace. This is a good area to pick some up if you are bullish on this for the continuation of the bull market. This is a good place to pick some up. <laughs> Simple as that, right? Before we and hopefully you see higher prices. An easy invalidation would be you know. I don't know if I would like to actually sell it on this break of support, but whoops. Game Swift. But yeah, so you got support, golden pocket. I think it's a good good area to buy some. <clears throat> if you if you want miles spin. <laughs> just say, just say. Uh look at that cock. Oh my god, is cock is cock pumping? Is the cock throbbing? Do I have to hold some cock? <laughs> like a cock, man. Cock. Does it hold does cock hold the tip? So this is the tip. Does cock hold the tip? That's the question, man. You got the previous tip here. Does it hold the tip as support? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Does it blast through the support or does it ejaculate? <laughs> I don't know which one cock does, but it does one of the two. One of the two. How's ETH doing? Is ETH... Oh my God, yes. The ETH... The ETH long is printing. <laughs> Look at the ETH long from the golden pocket. Let's go, baby. Strap up. We're going to the moon. Let's freaking go, baby. The ETH long from the golden pocket. Send this shit to Valhalla. This is going to be a swing long to new all-time highs. I will hold this ETH long to new all-time highs. No later. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. What does ejaculate mean? I don't know what that means. I, I only went, I'm only in third grade. I'm only in third grade, bro. Uh, what you think about when? 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 Is when a meme coin about that like Asian dude? The when moon guy? I know when is a meme coin. I do. I just don't know what it is. When on Mech C? It's on Mech C? When? The hell, man? Yeah, it's a meme coin, man. I, I don't know much about the memes. The, the, it's a meme coin... It kind of did what cock did and held, right? This was the previous high. You came down and tested that high. You held it. You got a nice little bounce. I don't I don't know what when is. I don't know if it's a little Asian dude. <laughs> I don't know if it's a little Asian dude, but shit, man. Uh where do you see a mutable X? Actually, look, let's look at when. Should we look at one over here? Let's see what it is. When? Uh, is it this? It's a little cat? I think it's the, yeah, it's a little cat. So it's a cat coin. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it does well. It looks like it's a little cat coin. I'm both, I mean, I, I hope at some point the cat coins do good. It's on Solana, I don't know. I don't know if the, like, I feel like the Solana meme coin thing is starting to get a little, a little, like, kind of cringy a little bit. I feel like, I don't know, <laughs> I feel like the epitome of the, of the Solana meme coin, the Solana meme coin thing, like, ever since that, like, Smurf guy went nuts, I feel like it's kind of cringy a little bit. I don't know. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe these things just continue to rip up. Uh, it's a cat. Woozy said, defect, link, underwhelming. Ah, link. Link this link. I mean, it really hasn't been underwhelming. It's under, it's, it's outperformed a lot of coins. Remember, link was at like four, well, less than five bucks. So link has actually outperformed a lot of coins. So actually like the bottom was like 490. So it's done over a 3x. I mean, it's not the biggest move, but it hasn't really underperformed. Um... If you actually look at Chainlink, I mean, <laughs> you know, it has it been underperforming? I don't know if it has. Maybe recently, but you got 
I mean, really you're doing like, see the previous highs? So previous highs, you're flipping into support, right? So highs into support and you got the bull market support band right there too, right? So this is support, weekly bull market support band, daily highs, right? So if you get another chance into here, I think I think that's a good scoop. I just don't know if, I don't know if you're gonna get another chance to get this at the, like below this level. But if you get another chance to scoop it, that's it. But this might be the W formation right here, right? The famous Hoff's W. If we zoom in, if we zoom in, this might be the Hoff's W formation on Chainlink, right? The low, you come up, hit the low again. This might be the Hoff's W, man. This might be the Hoff's W formation. We'll see though. <laughs> we shall see. Depends on what Bitcoin does. Um, Phantom has been airdropping me tokens. Yeah. Who said something's racist? <laughs> Who said that coin's racist? <laughs> Who said it? All right. Let's, um, so we talked about a lot of Bitcoin pairs yesterday. Um, just kind of want to do a little update where we talked about some of these. Um, I still think these are good levels, man. And I talked about, you know, I could be wrong about this. I could be wrong. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I'll totally take the L and I'll kind of go from there. But I, I still think that when I look at all these altcoin pair charts, it's telling me, oh, the short term people won't have patience. They're going to go, what? We didn't pump today. It's wrong. These are on weekly charts. Okay. The weekly charts of the altcoin pairs are telling me that we are going to see an altcoin outperformance of Bitcoin. Okay. An altcoin and, and the, the short term mindset people will, will will go nuts if we have a red day tomorrow. <laughs> this, this is how it works. This is how it was in back in January. When we were screaming phase E, we would go we would be basically going sideways for like two weeks and people were like, Jordan, you said phase E was gonna start. And then altcoins literally ripped two, three, four X to the upside. Because you just gotta have a little patience. If if you look at these altcoin pair charts, I'm, I'm like I said, I could be wrong. I've been wrong many, many times, and you know, I just like to think the longer I'm in this market, I, the better I get at it. But you know, I look at like ADA, and, and and these are the coins that haven't been performing, right? Once again, we can look at altcoin pair charts that have been mooning. They're all gonna look bullish because they've been going up, right? Let's look at the ones that have been doing bad. And if, if you find the altcoin pair charts that are doing that have been doing horrible, and even those are at support, what does that tell you? That if the bad coins or the coins, I should say bad coins, the coins that haven't been performing are at support, <laughs> that tells you that the real altcoin season where everything goes up is around the corner. Okay. And most people, and like I said, most people won't believe me. That's fine. You do your own analysis. I'll do my own analysis. You do whatever you want to do. But um, Cardano, look at the support level. One, two, three, four, five. Every time it's hit this trend line, we've seen a massive altcoin season. Every single time. Okay? Cardano hasn't been performing well. It's been pretty shitty. <laughs> Just does that Bitcoin pair support? XRP. You guys know how much I, 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 I loathe XRP. It's probably the worst coin you could probably own in the market, to be quite honest. XRP, even this is at Bitcoin pair support, hypothetically. Okay? 2017, all coin season. 2020, all coin season. Look where XRP Bitcoin is at that support level again. I don't think it's a coincidence that you're seeing all these coins hit that hit those levels at the same time. Okay? XRP, I hate XRP. I hate is a strong word. I loathe XRP. Even I think this is at a pretty good level. Um, Cosmos, been one that hasn't been performing well. I, you know, it is what it is. Where is it? Bitcoin pair support. I don't think it's a coincidence that all these coins are hitting it at the same time. I don't. I don't. 2019, 2020, here we are again. At the same level, we've got seen massive bounces in the past. 
They're all at those levels, man. They're all at those levels. And it doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. We could still see some chop, some downside for a few more weeks and still be okay. But I think if you have the patience to weather the storm, you're going to be a very, very happy camper if you can weather the storm and be patient. Patient, 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 patient. I know no one has patience in crypto because everyone gets in the market expecting a Lambo next week. If you have the patience, you will get the 10, 20 Xs you're looking for. And honestly, the people who've had the patience so far in the market already are up two, three, four, five X on their portfolios. Okay? Patience. Patience, 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 man. But I, I, like I said, I don't think it's a coincidence that you have all these that support at the same time. Even Chili's. 2019, 2020 highs at support. Even Chili's. Which I am now a Chili's. I am now a Chili's. Homer, that's me. That's me, Chili's. That's me. Um, but yeah, so that's my thought process. Like I said, I could be wrong. And I'm pulled through aware of that. I don't have a crystal ball, guys. This is the way I'm looking at the market. I am about 30... Depends on the day. 35%. Bitcoin, 65% altcoins at this point, around there. Like I said, it depends on the day, how much they pump, dump, whatever. Um, about 35% Bitcoin, 65% alts, because I do believe alts will outperform Bitcoin at this point. Um, I believe ETH will outperform Bitcoin at this point. And I'm ready to rock and roll, man. And, and, and I, I'm a firm believer, if you can weather the storm here, doesn't mean this is the bottom. Bitcoin could still go a little bit lower, but who cares? If you can weather the storm, you're not going to care about another 5, 10, 10 20% dip. That's going to be meaningless, especially on the altcoins. It's going to be meaningless in the grand scheme of things. You're not even going to see that on the chart. You, even the dips right now, you can barely see on the chart, to be honest. If you, look, if you put them on log scale, it's like they're like little specks of dust. Just chill out, do your thing. And obviously, nothing's guaranteed in the market. Have a point where you're invalidated, but like, the thing about crypto is <laughs> you got to have conviction in your plays, man. If you don't have conviction, you're just going to be an emotional roller coaster buying and selling everywhere. And it's going to be freaking crazy. <laughs> you got to have some conviction. So that's it, man. That's it. I, I have many different reasons, many different charts that support that. Um, whether it's total three, whether it's total three BTC, whether it's the altcoin pair charts, whether it's the ETH chart, whether it's um, you know the Google Trends, whether it's the Coinbase we, I have all the things that tell me that I think we still got higher to go. Much, much, much higher to go. And actually, I don't even think we've seen anything for altcoins yet. Bitcoin, I think we're... People will hate on me for this, but Bitcoin I actually think is relatively close to its top. Altcoins, I think, got a long way to go. I might get some hate for saying that. <laughs> I might get some hate for saying that, but I think, I think we got some fun to go. 20 to 20. Uh, get a t-shirt with, I'm a cock millionaire. I don't, I'm not a cock millionaire, man. I, 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 I strive to be a Pepe millionaire, right? Because we hold a million Pepe. <laughs> I think it's like 10 bucks. <laughs> uh, 10, $10 gets you a million Pepe, I think. $10 gets you a million co cock. Shit, we might as well become a cock millionaire. Um, Ben Cowan's still bearish on alts. I mean, he's been bearish on alts. I mean, altcoins are up. The good altcoins are up 5, 10. Some of them are already up 20x from their lows. I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to be perfectly honest, man. The dude's going to flip bullish on altcoins at the Pico top <laughs> at this point. Like, I... It is what it is, man. Right? Bitcoin dominance is such a stupid stat. I, can I tell you guys, I hate Bitcoin dominance. You know why I hate Bitcoin dominance? Because, you you know, I'll tell you why I hate Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin dominance doesn't tell you the full story of how altcoins perform. Why? Because ETH and XRP are such a big part of the altcoin 
market cap, right? Like, it, it, this is the thing. This is why I hate Bitcoin dominance as a stat. Because the good altcoins have severely outpaced Bitcoin, right? But ETH and XRP, like, if those don't move, Bitcoin dominance still goes up. Like, even if everything else is outpacing Bitcoin, if ETH and XRP don't move, Bitcoin dominance still goes up, <laughs> because, right? And that's why I hate Bitcoin dominance. Like, Bitcoin dominance is okay, but it doesn't tell you the full story. It, 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 it doesn't tell you the full story about what, what, what has happened in the market, right? And I, this is someone who loves Bitcoin, guys. I think Bitcoin should be your number one hold. Why? Because it's the least risky coin. Um, I mean, <laughs> even Bitcoin's risky, but it's the least risky crypto. I still think Bitcoin should be your number one hold. But, um, I, I mean, the good alts have outpaced Bitcoin, right? Injective, FET. Right, Pepe, Near, Solana, Avax. Right, I think almost Chainlink's almost there, <laughs> you know. And, and people say Chainlink is boring, but Ch Chainlink is almost there. Right, uh, the good alts have destroyed Bitcoin. It's like if you're in the boomer coins, obviously you're not going to outperform Bitcoin, right? But I, I, it, it doesn't tell you the whole story about the whole market, man. Like Bitcoin dominance is such a fuzaki. If you just follow Bitcoin dominance, you're going to miss all the good entries on all the good alts. You know, I mean, that's just a simple fact, right? I mean, what, what are we going to wait for Bitcoin dominance to get to 58%? By that point, Solana is going to be at all-time highs. AVAX is going to be at all-time highs. ETH is going to be at all-time highs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know, man. Maybe it's just me. But it, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> Bitcoin dominance should be Bitcoin versus non-top 10 alts. Yeah, if you take out the top 10 alts, the top, the non-top 10 alts have outperformed Bitcoin on average. The, the top 10 alts, right? Think about it this way, right? The top 10 altcoins, other than Soul, right? XRP, shit. Cardano, oh, I don't want to say. Cardano's fine. It just doesn't move, right? And it also includes stable coins, right? So Bitcoin dominance includes stable coins. That's the, also the other problem with it. It includes stable coins, which obviously if Bitcoin's in a bull market, it's going to outpace stable coins, right? Uh, other than really Solana, like all these top 10 coins are kind of ass, <laughs> right? So, so it's like, it, but if you look down, AVAX has outperformed Bitcoin. I think SHIBs outperform Bitcoin, right? Chainlink is about around the same, I think. Matter's kind of shit. Uniswap is kind of shit. Bitcoin Cash is outperform Bitcoin. Near's outperform Bitcoin. Aptos is outperform Bitcoin. Litecoin shit. ICP's outperform Bitcoin. Stacks is outperform Bitcoin. Filecoin I think is outperform Bitcoin. Cosmos no. ETC. I I don't know where ETC's bottom was. Arbitrum's outperformed Bitcoin. Render's outperformed Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Immutable's outperformed Bitcoin. Tau is outperformed Bitcoin. XLM. I don't know where the bottom was. I'm too. I'm too lazy to look. <laughs> you know, <laughs> OP is outperformed Bitcoin. Cos is outperformed Bitcoin. Phantom's outperformed Bitcoin. Pepe's outperformed Bitcoin. Injective's outperformed Bitcoin. V Chain. I don't know where the bottom was. I'm. I, I'm just doing the ones that I know. Fet is outperformed Bitcoin. Tia is outperformed Bitcoin. <laughs> I, I. I can keep going, man. You know. Say is outperformed Bitcoin. Sui is outperformed Bitcoin. I think even Gala is outperformed Bitcoin. So, I, I, you know, and, and guys, I'm not saying this is a Bitcoin hater. I, Bitcoin is the only big, uh, crypto that I believe in. But Bitcoin dominance is such a fuza, fu, Fugazi stat. Such a Fugazi stat. It's crazy. Um, Let's see. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done on my on my Bitcoin dominance rant. I'm done. Dunzo, Husaki, Mark the Shark said everything is up before XRP. Somewhat, yes, I I, I believe that is true. I, I believe that is somewhat true. Um, so all right, so Bitcoin 64k ish. Um, I think ETH. Oh damn, this I I feel like I feel like we caught the lows with ETH here. I, I I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty good about this ETH long here. I'm feeling pretty good. I, th I think that we might have caught the ETH low here. 
Bitcoin, I don't know if we caught the low yet. The thing is, Bitcoin could still dump and ETH could still hold this golden pocket. Um, but I, I think we caught the ETH low. Um, I'm, pr I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's my end rant <laughs> for the day. <laughs> He's done. Gala was a penny. Now it's five. Money is money. True. True. It's just true. Uh, Wayne said, in the other words, I'm the type that would never get rich buying altcoins. The thing is, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is crypto. I am a huge, I love, you guys know I love Bitcoin. Bitcoin's the only crypto I believe in. It's, 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 it's so hard to explain. Bitcoin is, it's the deflationary, it's, it's the, it's the supply dynamic of Bitcoin. It's, it's, it's one of the only assets on earth that you cannot make more supply of. And I, I, I just, I could rant about this all day. And this is my long-term thesis on Bitcoin. I, I, I'm bullish long-term on Bitcoin. Um, obviously, we're going to have pullbacks and, and, and big bear markets. Um, eventually, we're probably going to have some huge bear market, right? Um, where all assets go down, and that's normal, right? But um, old, like Bitcoin is is one of the only assets that has a cap supply. And people will say, but but Jordan Gold has a cap supply. Does it really though? Because there's gold in the ground that we haven't found yet, right? Earth goes down way lower than we can go down. There's probably so much gold. We probably only have like one, maybe less than one percent of the gold that's actually in the ground, <laughs> right? So does gold actually have a finite cap? Not really, right? There's probably so much gold in the ground that we don't have. Bitcoin has a set supply, okay? You can't make more of it. And boomers don't get this because they think it's just some, some internet imaginary currency. But you could say the same thing about fiat, but fiat they can just print more of. You can't print more Bitcoin. It That, until... You really gotta like watch a few like Bitcoin documentaries and and, and Bitcoin education videos to kind of understand why that's important. Um, but when you do, when you see these countries like Venezuela, um, th these countries with insane inflation, you 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 kind of understand why Bitcoin's important because that's gonna happen to the dollar at some point. That's gonna happen to the euro at some point, and you're gonna wish that you weren't holding that fiat currency. You're gonna wish you were holding Bitcoin. Right, if you look at the Bitcoin versus those currency charts, bro, Bitcoin, Bitcoin did like versus the Venezuelan currency, it did like a two hundred x during the bear market, <laughs> right? It, 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 it's something insane like that. Um, but yeah, so you you, you kind of get it, and that's gonna happen to the dollar at some point. At some point, the dollar is gonna go down that same path as all the other currencies, and you're gonna wish that you were holding Bitcoin. You're gonna wish that you were holding Bitcoin. That's why I'll never sell all my Bitcoin. Um, never, ever, ever. I will sell my Bitcoin. Uh, suddenly, Jordan is a geologist. It's true. It's true. It's true. Until you can answer in depth what is money versus what is fiat currency, you will never get the concept of Bitcoin. It's true, Wayne. You you have to understand. It's really the supply dynamic, and it's. It's greed. Like Bitcoin, you can't have greed with Bitcoin. With fiat currency, you can have greed, right? If the government wants to make more money, they can just print more money. You can't do that with Bitcoin. It, it, it's hard to explain. Um, but <laughs> I think the world will, will get it. I think the world is, 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 will start to get it. I think the world is starting to get it. Um, slowly. But that's why you've seen Bitcoin go from what? pennies to six to three thousand seven hundred dollar us dollars <laughs> in the span of 12 years <laughs> right uh come on surf gaining boomer profit from gen z noobs Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> let's go man okay uh I, I just went on my like super nerdy bitcoin rant there hope you guys enjoy my super nerdy bitcoin rant um 
altcoins, I think they have their purpose. But the problem with altcoins is they're just like fiat currencies. They have massive inflation, right? A lot of these layer ones, they got like 30, 40% yearly inflation. They're dumping like 30% more supply on the market every damn year. <laughs> so like a lot of them are just like, kind of like fiat currencies, right? AKA useless in the grand scheme of things. That's why I really only believe in Bitcoin. Like even ETH. ETH is like somewhat deflationary, but dude, the problem with ETH is it, just like everyone else, the gas fees, man, you know, but I, I, I guess big money doesn't care, but yeah, nerds are cool. N ner nerds are kind of cool. Nerds are kind of cool. So uh, somewhat. <laughs> All right. Uh, shit. Okay. Let's. We talked about most of the charts I want to talk about, guys. I, um, like I said, I'm feel, I, I'm feeling really bullish, man. I'm feeling really bullish. I know it feels weird to say this, man, but <laughs> I don't know how many times I could talk about it, man. I'm feeling really bullish. I feel like we got some good times ahead of us here. Altcoin pair charts. The fact that Bitcoin's still holding 64k despite GBDC selling two billion dollars worth of Bitcoin this week. It's just big. It's getting absorbed. It's getting absorbed, man, um, by buyers, right? Because if, if it, think about it this way, right? Like $2 billion like from Wednesday, right? Wednesday to Friday. Think about this way. Wednesday to Friday, Bitcoin's actually been up, technically speaking, right? Wednesday to Friday, Bitcoin is actually up in price from the start of Wednesday to now. And you've seen Grayscale sell You've seen Grayscale sell 13,000 Bitcoin. Almost, actually, $1 billion worth of Bitcoin in the last three days. And actually, Bitcoin has actually, technically speaking, gone up in price, right? <laughs> that means like $1 billion worth of people have had to buy Bitcoin. More than that, right? Because you've actually gone up since the Wednesday open, um, which I think is pretty cool, man. I think that's pretty cool. So buyers are stepping in here. Um, but dude, it's those altcoin charts, man. Those altcoin charts. I know that I, the USD charts don't look good, but you can't focus on the USD charts. They're gonna pull back with BTC. It's gonna be important that when Bitcoin finds a low and starts bouncing, you're gonna see the altcoins bounce way harder, way faster. Uh, man, COTS needs a tier one listing desperately. It does. A lot of a lot of the coins do, man. GPU needs a coin. <laughs> needs a listing. Uh, Shrap needs more listings. Shrap got listed on crypto.com, which is good. But a lot of these coins need, <sighs> these low cap coins that I like need some listings, man. Hopefully, I mean, when the market picks back up, they'll probably get some listings. Um, all right, anyways, guys, I think we're going to call it a nice Friday nights and go enjoy the rest of my nights. I think we talked about pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. Let me just make sure we got everything here. Uh, Pop said, sadly, some of the newbies this time around will never get to know Java. True, man. I'm hoping someday we get it. We get a Java come back. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out a way to get him back. Um, so soon, soon. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to get him back. Okay. You think this, this is going to be a shorter run than before? I do actually do. I think we're going to top in this year. I think Bitcoin will top in, in this year, not in 2025. Um, I don't know when. I don't know if it's three months from now or the end of this year. I, I don't know. I think this run is going to be a lot shorter than the previous ones, though. Uh, shout out to Hoff. Shout out to Woozy. And shout out to everyone. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it uh, a stream. Uh, shout out to everyone that's out here coming in. If you're new to the stream, make sure you press that subscribe button. <sighs> As we just have patience, man. We have patience. Patience. And more patience. And more patience <laughs> until eventually we don't have patience. We really haven't had that much patience, to be honest, though. Like, if you look at total three, it, we've only had one down week. Like, it really hasn't been that bad. I think people are being a little dramatic, to be quite honest. Like, it's only been one red week <laughs> for old coins. One. <laughs> it really hasn't been that bad, right? Just three months ago, we had one, two, three, four, five, uh, five weeks of kind of a pullback in here. We've only been going down for one week. It's been really not that bad. Um, but 
as always, for everyone who's feeling impatient, you really shouldn't be. But like, if you're feeling impatient, one, it hasn't really been that bad. Two, grow a pair of nut sacks. We're going to see many, many more of these boring and down periods uh, for Bitcoin and altcoins. Okay. So guys, peace out. Take care. Much love. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's stream, 7 p.m. Peace. Shout out to Peter Spliff. I love your name, man. Peter Spliff. Peace, guys. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it at the end.